Hello there guys and welcome back to my test play of this war of my 2SV left out from the previous episode Bruno here was going to be the star Still haven't opened up yet. Just need to make. I just need to make a lock pick. Yes, trader. What a fucking trader. Hey, no, 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 bubble. You go back to sleep. And you, Bruno, go and meet the trader. I gotta check uh, how to make that one uh, whole cover. If only we had, we had Katya in this playthrough. If during bargainings and trade, when during trades, she can uh, help make the trade more more profitable to our side, Katya. Two more holes, two more holes we have to fetch up. I know from previous playthroughs after a person comes and you uh, send them away no more is going to come for the day so it's safe to end the day now wait 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 I already have survive survive to any means necessary Oh, 
fuck it. I'm to, I'm going to make one lock pick and a and a crowbar. Cool As I said before, my strategy is to feed them when they are when they are when they are very hungry. It's called saving up resources. If we had like a, an, an excess of food, then I might just feed them until they until they are. Target characters sleep during the day after like uh, seven hours like that, they would become refreshed, which means that you can always put a single person on guard during during the night. Just a useful info. I thought that any of you who are watching this would like to know. Okay, now to end the day. Of course, always I'm having used cabbage because your inventory is the most out, out of these three. See some homeless people. Okay, materials. Okay, double plastic. Better bring back a shitload of components. Ah, uh. I need to create a weapon soon. Soon the raids will begin from other survivors.
gonna search, gonna search, search, gonna search, search, search. Damn, yeah, I really gotta learn to edit that in future to make my videos so much more interesting. Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch you. There's no gunshot damage. There should be a clue around here somewhere. It opens up a, a couple of search area. but all of them will become very hostile after that hostile to you I'll come back for you later medicines oh very valuable stuff I'm lucky in this playthrough wait 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 here yeah. That's in my opinion. Huh? Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Run to exit. Run to exit. Also don't know this. If your character runs out of time before he uh, leaves the area, then there's a chance that he might die or get injured on his way home. If the time runs runs out during your scavenging runs. I also thought that it was an interesting tidbit for you guys to you know. Now my second priority is to close close up the holes. Absolutely need to be closed down. Ah, oh, shoot, wood. Don't worry, I'll come back but again later. Go make food. Now don't, don't be greedy Bruno, you 
memberi amri ini mau menolak Bruno, aku kena ada meal The best thing about Bruno is that Like his uh, bio says he's a good cook So I'll not waste the water or fuel Should be 
there they should be a cigarette uh, roller. I don't care for those things. Day five, everybody. Day five. So we're still fighting. Survivors can defend themselves with comforts coming, the safety comes, comforts.
Oh, you boosty. House actually came with the DLC, the little ones. I remember in the base game, there was no three houses in the base game. Okay, it's nearly 3 pm and no one's, no one's coming, so I can just safely end the day. You stand up, you scavenge yourself with Marco because your uh, inventory space is the largest. You've been here like the third time. You should know which way to which way to take. I want from this place. Lucky me, 